Hey guys, it's me, Coolmaster438, and first off, let me wish all of America a happy 4th of July. And second off, you may be wondering what this contraption is. If you can see the title, you know what it is. It is Sneaky Selena from the Sneaky Sisters, also from the Lanticraft realm. These aren't my builds, um... Just to start this out, um, this is actually Jobas and Cody, um, but they were made by PMC, whatever his username is, but I'll leave a link in the description now. So today, it's going to be my first ever tutorial, tutorial, showing you how to build Selena from Sneaky Sisters, so... Let's get started, shall we? And I guess we can build her right next to herself. And now, like any Minecraft figure, you want to start off with... Let me get my... Two rows of light gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, and each row is going to be eight. Just make sure that's eight. Because I'm really bad at counting rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it should be eight. Okay, so next up is one gray block. I know, that was very dramatic just for a block. But you want to put that block on the same side. Well, this one. And fill in the rest with light gray. Then going up for second row, three gray blocks. Then two. Is that two at the same? I have my directions right in front of me in case you guys were wondering. Light gray. Now I'm confused. And yes. Okay, so she's actually pretty easy um, because for the next 10 rows, you're just gonna place square blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's go ahead. Fill this in. And by the end of this, we should have statue looking like what that statue looks like. Um, I went ahead and built it, built it because it was easier for me to like. I'm questioning my paper. I could just look over. Plus, it was actually pretty easy to build. Um, ten was okay. Two gray block. And then you want four light gray clay stain. It isn't till the very top that we actually use the wall, so when I say a color, I actually mean clay stained blocks. Keep that in mind, because chances are I will be saying that a lot. Okay, so two light gray and four white. Then you want three rows of what I am placing down. So, so far you should have this. And now 
we are coming, we're going to be building the top, like, she's a mermaid, and she has a top, so for her top, I, you can make it whatever you want, um, but I'm using pink, okay, so, and on her skin, she actually has some of her hair coming down, so. I'm gonna be building that as well. One pink. Yellow. One pink. Two white. One pink. And yellow. One pink. You should have this so far. Okay, and two yellow on both sides, and then four white. So we're gonna go to the bottom now. We're going back three. Let me just flip my paper over. Because there is some directions for this. Not too many. But some. What you're gonna wanna do is do the same as you did up there. Build inward. And then you just wanna surround that with gray blocks I believe let me check yes and then you love it was like great No, no. On my paper, I have 11 rows of light gray. That's supposed to just be white. So that was one row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so before I continue, I'm gonna fill this all up. And this is her tail. In case you guys were wondering. Okay. So... Three rows uh white stained clay. One two three. Okay. Then we have the back strap for three. One, two, three. So she has a little strap like whatever that is, like a tie or something going up and that's what I did to symbolize it. And then we have and the arms are probably the most easiest thing about this, but first let me check my timer, yeah. 
Puran Minute, guys. So yeah, guys, the arms are like the easiest part about this, so... Let me just double check. One, two, three. Okay, yeah. You wanna come out by four. One, two, three, four. I should've got the diamond done with this. Like I said, the arms are the most easiest because they're just white stained clay. You don't even really... I mean, if you want to, you can decorate her arm, but I'm not for the sake of the tutorial. As we finish up the second arm, we can do the rest of the body and then we can move on to the head and then tutorials over with. Let's cover this up too, I mean, it's not like anybody's gonna be seeing it. So if I'm correct, I need to go to, yeah. And her face skin, as you can see from this one, um, it's kind of weird because it reminds me of Stampy Cat. But it's not supposed to be Stampy Cat. That's like her legitimate skin hair. And her skin eyes. I can find a lighter, like, yellow that I could use, so. I was stuck with this one. Yellow stain for my in two yellow stain. Two yellow stain and my. Like gray, um, but if you want to make her lips more colorful, which is what these are, you can like make a pink if you so wish. Once again, that's up to you guys. There's so many ways you can alternate this. Um, did 
minutes when clay. Six whites and clay and one yellow. Looks like it could be a helmet, actually. Um, I can't read my directions. I'm just gonna have to look. Looks like yellow. Wait. Green. Go ahead and bring those things up. Then you want to make the eyebrows less eyelashes. Whatever you want to call them. the rest of the head is just gonna be Justin Clay because that is her hair showing a tutorial on how to build her sister, um, Sneaky Sam. And Sneaky Sam, I have a feeling, will be quite a fun person to build. Because she's just practically her sister, just with, like, few modifications. One thing, her hair isn't, like, yellow. Another thing is, like, her, like, bra, cover-up, whatever you want to call it. Bikini top is different, and I'm pretty sure her tail is different. But their eyes and same face positioning should be the same. I've also been meaning to get around to building Rick from The Walking Dead, so. Who knows? But there she is. Look, they're twins. But yes, guys, this is the end of my very first tutorial video. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, enjoyed it. Um, hopefully this can be useful for you guys. Somehow, like, if you're making, like, Atlantis Shrine, like, I'll leave links. Well, I'll try to leave links in the below section the description to how to make Jobas and how to make Cody yeah but keep your eyes out for them you guys ooh we almost forgot one of the very most important part actually have to fill in the tail 
if I didn't glance over, I probably would have missed that. But it's not that hard. I mean, all you have to do is take a gray stain block and fill it in. Okay guys, so now it's gonna be the end. And let's just go ahead and take a quick look at our work. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And this is my first ever build. I mean, not my first ever build. My first ever build that, like, I did. I noticed something else wrong. Apparently I am terrible at reading instructions. Okay, before I find anything else wrong with this thing, I'm gonna be ending. The timer has went off. I've went on my rampage and there's my two statues of Sneaky Selena. So guys, bye. Oh, I Maybe I should go in the air. Bye!